Studies show that the novel coronavirus can live on some surfaces for several days. To help keep customers keep their hands virus-free, a major convenience store chain has unveiled a touchless microwave. Just scan a QR code on the food packaging and this advanced appliance will automatically select the right time and power level without the need for any buttons. Amid the pandemic, many people may be afraid to touch buttons like this. A Taiwanese convenience store has now launched a touchless microwave. All you have to do is scan the QR code to microwave your food. Your food is labeled with a QR code. Scan the code using the sensor in the microwave, and the microwave will heat your food to its exact specifications. Amid the pandemic, many people are leery of touching buttons for a fear of picking up germs. This convenience store chain is testing out a touchless microwave that frees customers from having to touch its buttons. The product has its own QR code. The machine will automatically read the QR code and know how long to microwave the product. This is much more convenient for consumers and reduces the need for contact. The chain is trying out five touchless microwaves at one of its Taipei locations. Customers can choose from 70 items in the store, each equipped with a QR code. The chain plans to roll out touchless microwaves at other locations in the future. It can reduce the risk of transmission. I think it's a very thoughtful measure. Another innovation just in time for the coronavirus is this touchless elevator. To call a lift, hold your finger close to the up or down button. You don't need to make contact. The button has a sensor that will detect when you're near. Once you're inside, you can connect to the panel using Bluetooth and choose a floor using your smartphone. I use my keys to press buttons. No need to make direct contact with it or worry about germs. These days, people find themselves using keys, cards or tissue paper to press buttons everywhere they go. But new tech is offering a thoughtful alternative to those who want to keep their hands clean. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Bochong in Taipei.